Sony has announced its next generation of Crystal LED, which is the company's branding for its micro-LED television at CES 2021. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, Vincent Dio from HGTV Test here. Today, Sony Professional has actually announced its next generation of Crystal LED display, which is the company's branding for its micro-LED technology, which has first been shown in a prototype in 2012. At that time, it was shown on a 55-inch television, but that didn't come to fruition, and eventually, the micro-LED or crystal LED technology, they call it CLED at that time, was actually repackaged into a modular form since 2016. And now, in 2021, we have the next generation, which has several improvements in terms not only of the picture quality, but also in terms of the installation and also maintenance ease. So there are going to be two lines of next generation crystal LED display from Sony. Those are going to be the C series and also the B series. C series stands for contrast. With this, what the company is prioritizing is just how inky the blacks are because with micro LED technology, it is a self-emissive technology just like OLED, but it has the advantage of actually being inorganic so there hopefully will be less risk of permanent screen burn now with the c series there are two pixel pitch sizes to choose from basically 1.26 millimeters and also 1.58 millimeters 1.26 millimeters is more for critical viewing whereas 1.58 millimeters is for less critical viewing let's say in a big corporate showroom where picture quality is not really that important, you just want to get that sort of contrast across to any viewers. And with the C-series, the peak brightness has been specced at 800 nits. Although these are not finalized yet, these are just preliminary specifications that Sony has come up with in their press release and in an NDA briefing that I attended before CES. And the contrast ratio is going to be 1 million to 1, and this is a contrast ratio which I can believe, given that micro LED or crystal LED display technology is self emissive, as opposed to some of the other 1 million to 1 contrast ratio that has been peddled about by other manufacturers of lesser display technologies. And besides the C series, there will also be the B series, and the B series will stand for the brightness range. So the key attribute of this series is that it is capable of a peak brightness of 1800 nits. Again, you know, this is not finalized, so take it with a grain of salt. But the whole point of the B series is to be able to pump up as much brightness as possible and maybe sacrifice a bit of the black level performance. And also there will be superior anti-reflective coating with a matte finish on the B series, making it more suitable to be used in showrooms, in a bright lobby, for example, or increasingly, just like what we have seen at the production set of The Mandalorian, more and more of these LED displays are being used on production sets as a virtual production background what we call a virtual green screen and certainly I think you know that's where Sony is going to be pitching this B series for in terms of the use for you know big production studios and the B series is also developed in conjunction with Sony Pictures Entertainment which is an arm of well a uh, big Japanese conglomerate such as Sony so those are the B series and the C series and again I think you know we have to go a step further to try and find out what improvements this next generation of crystal LED technology offers over the existing one that you know Sony has been selling. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. With more and more people staying home these days, Netflix is continuing to cap the bitrate of certain shows, especially in Europe, which will cause the picture to look softer with more compression artifacts such as macro blocking, pixelation and noise in dark scenes. What if there's a way to access Netflix servers in another country where streaming bitrate is not capped? This is where a VPN comes in. Surfshark allows you to stream content from another country without needing you to be physically there, so you can watch Netflix in higher bitrates 
and better picture quality. You can also get more content that's not available in your region, perhaps the US Netflix library which contains more movie titles. For less than the price of a Big Mac per month, you can use Surfshark on as many devices as you want in your household, all at the same time. There's 24-7 live customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and even instructions on how to set up the VPN on your LG or Samsung smart TV. And for a limited time only, if you use promo code HDTV test, you'll get 83% off and 3 extra months free. So sign up today and give Surfshark a try. I'll put the link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. And there are at least two key main points. The first one is going to be a new picture processor and Sony calls it the X1 for crystal LED processor. And with this new processor, which is again bundled within a new controller, there will be a few aspects such as reality creation. Now from our experience with Bravia televisions, we know that this is Sony's own proprietary dual database system that tries to compare a lot of images stored in the database and then use that for upscaling, for noise reduction, for increase in resolution from lower resolution sources. So that is reality creation. It will be bundled within the X1 for crystal LED processor. And then next, there will also be motion flow technology. And this will be some sort of motion interpolation that will provide a high frame rate up to 120 hertz frames per second experience you know, to moving images. And then the third bit is going to be a 22-bit gradation, you know, which is significantly higher than even the 14-bit super bit mapping that Sony has been using before on Bravia televisions, thus providing for smoother gradation and a richer color expression. And also in terms of HDR, this new next-gen crystal LED televisions from Sony will be supporting both 4K HDR10 and also HLG formats. So you should be able to enjoy HDR content from the most popular sources you know, on these displays. And Sony also wanted to stress that you know the micro LED size that they are using is a true micro LED. So according to market research firm Trendforce, anything that is below 75 micrometers can be qualified as micro LED and Sony says that a few of its competitors who are offering micro LED products on the market are actually using larger sized LED diodes which qualifies them more as a mini LED rather than a micro LED. So just like going through the motions at a speed dating session, you know, I asked Sony a question and I received a non-answer. So I asked them what is the exact size of your micro LED and you know they say that they cannot divulge the information but they say that it is definitely a true micro LED it is definitely less than 75 micrometers probably just like you know the dots you know, on my sweater but that is that and then another improvement of the next gen crystal LED over previous CLEDs from Sony is the ease of installation and maintenance. So these crystal LEDs will still be coming in modular form. So there will be individual modules and they will come in cabinets that measure 27 inches diagonally and it will be a 69 ratio weighing less than 10 kilograms. But the key difference from previous generations of CLED or crystal LED from Sony is that you can basically install it from the front without needing to access the back. So that is one key improvement. And the second improvement is that you don't need any special tools to install it. You just need to use the regular tools that you normally use to install a video wall. And then they claim that the installation time has dropped significantly. So let's say if you want to install a 220 inch crystal LED for a presumably very wealthy client, then you know you will only need two person who will take less than a day. And this is one third of the installation time compared with previous generations. And with this in mind, 
I think, you know, at this point, what we want to find out is basically the price and availability. And I think, you know, when it comes to price, if you have to ask, then this is not for you. I think, you know, this product, you know, we are talking at least six figures. Obviously, Sony still, you know, hasn't finalized the price, but I would expect it to be at least six figures. And it will be arriving in the summer of 2021. But let's talk about the resolution of these crystal LED TVs. And I think, you know, if you have watched some of my previous videos on micro LED TVs, not only from Sony, but also from Samsung, you will know that, you know, it is very difficult trying to shrink the pixel size and pixel pitch together to try and get even higher resolution out of these micro LED televisions. So for example, if you want to actually make a 110 inch Sony crystal LED using their next generation technology, it will take about 16 blocks of the cabinets in a 4x4 configuration. And then that will give you a resolution of 1920 times 1080, which is full HD. And if you double the screen size to 220 inches, then you will require 64 cabinets, basically in an 8x8 grid. And this will have a 4K resolution of 3840 times 2160. Now, despite this low resolution count, Sony claims that because the innate contrast of micro LED technology is so high, you don't actually feel the loss in resolution. For example, you know, I visited Sony's office in Basingstoke last year and had a look at the 110 inch crystal LED. That was the old generation. And certainly I perceived it to be higher resolution than full HD. I don't think I can say that it is pin sharp and it is as sharp as a true 4K, but it is certainly a higher resolution perceptibly than full HD 1920 times 1080 because I think the innately high contrast actually increases the perceived sharpness and resolution of the image. This is similar to how I've actually explained to some of my calibration clients. Let's say if you actually display a black text on a white paper, it will always look sharper than a black text on a gray paper because you know the contrast of the black text on a white paper is higher than black text on a piece of gray paper. And the same principle applies to any display technology, especially one that is self-emissive such as micro LED or Sony's crystal LED technology. And certainly I think you know the resolution perceptibly is higher than what is on paper. But let's see, you know, how many of you can actually afford it. I think, you know, Sony is pitching this product more to the B2B market. So they gave us some examples of these crystal LED video walls being installed in big corporate lobbies, you know, headquarters in showrooms rather than in high-end residential premises. But, you know, there's nothing to stop you from actually installing this in your mansion, you know, if you are rich enough to actually afford it. And another advantage of this technology being modular is that let's say you stay in a big London penthouse flat, but you know, you don't really have any means to get a 110 inch TV to, in one piece up to the flat. You can actually just, you know, take all these modules individually up and then assemble it in your flat and you can enjoy some of the best picture quality that a consumer can afford today. And that is certainly the attractiveness of having a modular design. And obviously with a modular design, I also asked Sony about whether the seams are going to be visible, what steps or precautions they have been taking to try and reduce the visibility of these seams. And they said that they are doing some matching and calibration at factory and certainly from what I saw at Basingstoke, the seams are less visible than what I saw on Samsung's micro LED TVs. If you'd like to watch some of our other videos on next-gen display technologies, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video.